Okay, it's another day. It's Craig here again. What you see in front of you is the old head off of the Red Max string trimmer and the new head that I purchased from Amazon that I said yesterday was not right. Y'all can start laughing at me now because <clears throat> I think <laughs> I was unaware that this actually comes out of here. It, it threads in to a boss. Um, after I've done some research, I figured out that this was a what they call a stud, a mounting stud. And it basically just threads out of here and threads into here. Maybe. Well, <laughs> that's not even going to work. Yeah, I guess it will. There we go. So that's all you have to do. <clears throat> I was unaware. See, that still retains this one down here. And now that one, uh, that looks like that's an insert inside of the, the plastic. But that could probably be knocked out now. I'll try that off camera just so I can keep it. <clears throat> but now this will allow me to install this new head onto the Red Max leaf blower, or not leaf blower, but weed eater. <clears throat> now if I remember what I've done with it, I put it up, I just can't remember where I put it. Be right back, bye. Okay. And then you just take and this is left hand thread also. Spin it on. And again, you want to run it around until you find your, your hole in your collar and the detent hole down inside of the gear head housing. Um, I don't know if my little T27 will fit down in there or not. I don't think it will. Yeah, it will. And then you just, without dropping stuff, just go ahead and tighten it up a little bit. So this actually turns counterclockwise. It'll turn this direction. So as it's running, it's actually going to be tightening the thread up on both sides of that adapter shaft. So. Got a little bit of gas left in it. Let's see if we can't make it run here just a little bit. Primer bulbs up underneath here. Well, actually, I guess I probably ought to position you guys out here where you can see what's going on. Move the camera here around a little bit. Okay. This particular model has the primer bulb that's up underneath here. Several primes till you see the gas coming through the fuel lines. Chokes right here on the side. Downs run, ups choke. Got a toggle switch on off. Up is on. <coughs> and it should start. aftermarket replacement head for this uh, Red Max BC2300 trimmer brush cutter. It's actually a BC2300DL as David Large. 
Uh, this was picked out of, like I said yesterday, this was picked out of a guy's trash. Uh, when I stopped and talked to him, he said, you can have it, it won't run. And when I got it home, literally the only thing I had to do was there was a, an arrestor screen on the back side of the outlet of the muffler there, where the, the exec, exit port comes out. I just took that arrestor screen off because it was all gummed up and it's ran ever since. And then I also replaced the fuel line and the grommet where it comes through the tank because it was rotted out and, and leaking real bad. Uh, this head, like I said, bought it from Amazon. Less than $15. It was, I, I'm not exactly sure, but it was like 11 something I believe. It was less than $15 shipped to the door. Um, also, let me show you what come with it. And in the description, it come with a little measuring tape. It says hurt, H-U-R-T, right on it. But in the description, it said that if this tape was not in the package, then the head would be totally free. So I was kind of hoping that they would forget to put it in there, but, you know, with some kind of an offer like that, this is probably the first thing they put in there. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll post this a little short video, and then go ahead and do the next one.